Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and today I'm going to show you how to update your Brave browser. So it's going to be short and sweet. So let's get going. All right, so I'm using the latest version of the Brave browser. Uh, you can see that these icons have uh, the look and feel of the icons has changed a little bit and they're giving uh, more random pictures here in the uh, new tab screen. Uh, and so uh, it was a little bit tricky to get updated to it. And unfortunately, I already did it, so I can't really show you uh, what it uh, looks like when it needs to be updated, but I can explain it to you. So first of all, uh, when you go over to the hamburger menu up here in the corner and pull this down uh, to About Brave, uh, you should see that you're on the latest version. See, Brave is up to date. And it's 720-3626-121. Uh, you'll notice, too, that uh, since Brave is based on Chromium, that uh, you should also... It, it is the same version that you would see in uh, Google Chrome. So if I go to about Google Chrome, you'll see that that is the same uh, number right and uh, there are some articles out there about uh, that brave needs to be updated or chrome okay so here's uh, an article in fortune magazine uh, update your chrome browser right now hackers are exploiting a high risk security flaw um, not too sure how serious that flaw is, um, but uh, I like to stay up to date. So uh, I <laughs> I like to stay up to date. All right. So it's very important that we keep our browsers up to date. Now Chrome uh, it manages to do this without uh, me doing a full reinstall, but Brave is a little bit different. Okay. So basically in Brave, you're going to see a little icon up here in the corner that tells you that you need to update Brave, that it's not fully up to date. And then when you click it, uh, you'll, it's going to pull down and it will allow you to try to run the update. Uh, so it'll say something like update Brave. You'll do that and then it will fail and it will tell you that uh, it needs to be reinstalled from scratch or something to that effect. So how do we do that? Okay, so uh, the first thing you'll want to note in like in my case is that I have uh, a crypto some cryptocurrency in my brave. So I definitely uh, I have a Tron link uh, browser extension. So I definitely don't want to lose any of the information that is stored in my browser. So let me show you how to be uh, very meticulous. All right, so uh, the browser data for Brave is stored on your uh, C drive, your uh, boot drive. So you go into the local disk C, and you can do that in several ways. You can do it from the sidebar, and you can go to this PC. Uh, so you get into the C drive, you go to users, and uh, you'll see one that is your name or your username on your computer. And then uh, you'll need to go into the app data folder. Now, uh, let me just quickly show you. Uh, now, many of you might be presented with this screen where you don't see app data. So you need to go up here to view, over to options, and then you'll click to the view tab again and show hidden files and folders. And then you can click OK. Now, I'm just being overly meticulous here, so uh, don't, lose, don't let me lose you. Uh, we'll go into app data. And then uh, generally, a lot of your cryptocurrency wallets are stored in roaming, all right? Uh, and those are not going anywhere. But your uh, data for Brave is in the local folder. And there you can see the Brave software that has all of the uh, user data for your Brave browser. And it's quite a bit, right? We don't want to lose any of that data. So uh, the best thing to do, you could just take this whole folder and copy it somewhere else, right? You could copy it to a flash drive or a secondary hard drive just to be on the safe side, all right? But you don't really have to do that. Uh, so I'm gonna show you uh, the option not to click. 
So basically what we're going to do is we're going to go over here uh, to our settings. All right. And we'll go over here to apps. And then there's a list of all of the applications that we have installed. We're going to need to go to Brave and do an uninstall. Right. OK, so I'm running Brave, so I need to close Brave. So I'll handle that. All right, so we hit uninstall. Now here is the uh, crux of the biscuit, so to speak. We don't want to delete any of that data, right? We want to just leave this unticked. We don't want to lose any of our browsing data, right? Now, uh, even if you do this, even if you lose like your browsing data, it might still hold uh, like the cryptocurrency things that you have saved it's not it's most likely not going to delete that entire brave folder but like i said we were a little meticulous we copied the folder just in case and we're not going to tick this and then we'll just click uninstall all right and boom there it goes brave is now gone completely so uh now that brave is gone we'll need to use a secondary browser to uh, go back and reinstall Brave. So we'll just go to Brave, right? And this is their download page, all right? And uh, this, it recognizes this uh, machine. It's giving me the recommended uh, version. You can uh, change the version if for whatever reason it's not showing up right. So we're just gonna click Download Brave for Windows. All right, and we'll just drop it on the desktop. You can see my Brave folder is still there too. Okay, and so now that I've got the Chrome closed, I can go back over here to my desktop. I can just double click this uh, Brave browser setup. All right, and I'm just gonna go ahead and let it install Brave. All right, and then it's gonna launch Brave for you. And all of your settings are still going to be there. Uh, you can see that uh, my extensions are all there. Uh, my cryptocurrency uh, extension is still there. And everything's fine. And I'm at the latest version. So uh, it's kind of a no-brainer. Uh, you basically just need to uninstall it and reinstall it in order to get updated to the latest version. And then you'll want to just double check here at About Brave and make sure you're on that same number. Uh, that we talked about, 72.0.3626.121, right? And uh, that's how you update Brave. Don't forget, I have a live stream every Friday night, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Please join me for the live Q&A in L.A. Uh, throw out any questions that you may have. I'll try to get them answered on the fly, or just join in the conversation and have a good time. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that you can click that will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.